Hi, I'm Mary Martin. I'm the owner of Orionis CC, the South African company that provides tachyons to South Africa. These are the tachyons that come from Switzerland and they are energized in South Africa. A lot of people ask me how that energy gets into the glass and I think it would be good for me to explain to people that this energy has been quantified by quantum physics and is now well documented to be something that is very, very real and can make a significant improvement to your and my life. Tachyon energy is something that is all around us. It is in the air around us. Um, a lot of people know it as prana or as chi, but it is the same energy. It is energy of something that is vibrating. Now, we've all probably or possibly learned that everything on this planet vibrates. Some vibrations are faster and some are slower and if you understand that everything vibrates then in theory when those vibrations pass through zero degrees Kelvin and we specifically use the term Kelvin rather than centigrade or Fahrenheit everything should stop moving. But for some inexplicable reason, it does not. In fact, out of zero point energy, for that is what it's called, as that vibration passes through zero degrees Kelvin, it is known as zero point energy. It's also called the zero point field. And Lynn McTaggart, in her new book, The Bond, writes about this field in a very eloquent way. In the 1990s, a gentleman in America was gifted by channel, through channeling the design of a machine that could replicate zero-point energy. At about the same time, a gentleman in Switzerland was also gifted through channeling the, a similar design and the, both of these machines can replicate the vacuum and the, the coldness of zero point Kelvin. In South Africa we are very very lucky because we have the sister machine to the one that is in Switzerland and because we have that system machine, we are able to import directly from Germany our beautiful, beautiful glass tachyons, which are then placed into that machine and they are energized. Now, you're going to ask me how are they energized? Well, once the machine is activated and the electricity flows through and creates the vacuum and creates the zero point Kelvin, the item that is in the machine actually has a subtle change in the subatomic structure. And that subtle change allows the item to start drawing packets of energy into the item. Right, once the items are in the machine, the subatomic structure is altered and it remains altered for the lifetime of that item, provided that item is natural. That item needs to be natural. If it's man-made, it will be energized, but the energy wears off within a short period of time. So any natural item and we talk about glass here and we need to understand that we are using the purest silicon glass available to man to make these tachyons. 
We can also energize anything such as wool or silk, cotton, leather, provided it is natural, it can be energized and the energizing will remain there forever. It will not wear off. So once you have a tachyon, know that the energy will be there forever and ever.